I had a loaded gun pressed to the back of my head after being asked simply, do you want to marry this guy? On May 21st, 2016, we were married and it was the happiest day of our lives. But the year leading up to it was the hardest year we'd ever experienced. We endured emotional, mental, and physical trauma. Racial slurs, death threats, and slander from some of those closest to us. And we're told to give up on each other based solely on our difference in skin tone and background. Please keep in mind that every situation is different, and even if you are in a very similar situation, the outcome may not be the same as ours. Always use prayer as your main tool in any difficult situation, as Allah will never lead you astray. In 2015, he moved from his hometown to my hometown for work, and we met a couple months later through a mutual friend. Um, we met through <laughs> we met Snapchat. Through Snapchat. Um, I saw him in that mutual friend's uh, Snapchat story. There was an instant spark. Pretty much instant. There was an instant vibe. And I would say within a month or two of just texting and phone calls and stuff after that, we knew we, we, wanted, knew to we wanted to get married yeah, after that. so fast. A lot of name calling. Yeah, a lot of name calling. Like, <laughs> the amount of times I got called the N-word or heard about it countless times. Um, she got called different names. She got oh, called... I got called every name in the book. Yeah, every, everything. And this is even after we were married. Yeah. Like, yeah, this, this even, continues to this day. Mm -hmm. And like, before we got married, like, we, I mean, it was just, it was ridiculous. I would be accused of haram things just because he's black, which yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the same things she wouldn't be getting called if I was an Arab yeah. guy or something. Obviously, a whole bunch of just racially mm -hmm. charged insults, different things like that. But we knew going into this, we knew the second that we decided we wanted to get married, that we weren't going to let those things affect us and that we were always going to be the better people in that. And that we were going to be a walking, talking, living example mm -hmm. of the way that you don't discriminate in Islam and the way that you actually practice what you preach. Because there's a lot of people that claim to be Muslim, they claim to be by the book, but then the second that a black man or even a Pakistani man comes and asks for their Arab daughter, the, the, somehow there's a difference in that now. You know, we really saw people's true colors when we decided to be together. Yeah. Um, I lost, we lost friends, a lot of friends, we, we lost family members. People started distancing yeah. themselves from us. It, it, it comes definitely with struggle. So yeah. if you are going through this and you are somebody that is considering or in love with somebody that is not from your background or from not from your ethnicity or tribe or village or whatever and you know that your parents are going to not be for it initially, it comes with its trials, it comes with its negatives. But if you really do love that person, are you going to be someone that lives to be happy for yourself or lives to be happy for somebody else? They didn't really realize how serious we were about wanting to get married and in the beginning it was all fine and dandy, it was just like okay whatever, like there's nothing going on. But when they finally understood the seriousness and they understood that we really wanted to get married, they, my dad actually, not my mom, he just, he flipped out. Like that's the easiest way I can put it, he just flipped out. My parents pretty much... They were indifferent. They didn't, they didn't really, care. yeah, they didn't really care. They were like, oh wow, that's that's nice, that's amazing. Because mm -hmm. obviously my parents, I'm American, I was born in America. Um, I wasn't raised, like, based around Islam, so. You didn't have that culture. Yeah, I didn't have, any, yeah. like, an Islamic background or anything like that. So my parents didn't understand anything wrong with it. Long story short, the threats and the intimidation started to actually take place physically and form itself into actual actions. It got to a point where I had a loaded gun pressed to the back of my head after being asked simply, do you want to marry this guy? And I gave the wrong answer. 
and that was yes I do. So pretty much we knew at that point when things started getting more serious, the threat became real. Um, guys started getting forced upon her mm -hmm. to try and get married to them. Basically, no matter who they were, they yes, weren't even guy good, after guy just after random guy, guys. Just random guys from the local masjid just, hey, I'm looking for a wife. Okay, got your girl. Yeah. It was me. And I literally, I remember at one point I was sitting in front of this other guy that was looking to get married. And all I could think to myself was, oh my God, this is what my life would be without Ray. Like, this is... This is it. Like, do I really want to be in front of another guy or married to another guy while I'm over here sitting down thinking about and being so in love with this one? It just, it didn't make any sense it for that to happen. It basically got to a point where we knew we needed to take our happiness and how we wanted to spend the rest of our lives into consideration as opposed to mm -hmm. trying to cater to other people's happinesses and other people's ideas of what we should do. Right. Well, after all the craziness, um, I basically fell into severe depression and I started um, pushing everyone out of my life and pushing everyone away from me. Um, because of that, we felt like it was best for him to move back to his hometown and start working over there and start his life. And basically just give more time for things to kind of mm -hmm. die down to see if any doors would start opening for us. We had very limited communication. Pretty much six months went by we where we other. hadn't seen each other at all. And we were just praying the entire time and I was kind of just monitoring the situation from afar. She was kind of keeping me posted when she could, but I was mainly keeping up with her through her friends. And at that point, nothing was getting better. And I ended up basically just giving her an ultimatum. I was like, okay, so if this is gonna work out, if we're gonna get married, then we need to start looking into other means because I don't think that your dad is going to come around. He's set in his ways. He's basically sticking to what is what he said, and he already said that he wasn't going to allow us to get married. And that is what I needed. I needed that extra push because I felt like I was the weak one in our relationship where I was just so ready to give up all the time. And he was just so firm and he just he knew what he wanted. He knew that he wanted to get married. And even though I did too, I was just so afraid of everything that was going on around me. We started talking to other um, other people. We started reaching out to scholars all over the world who all basically... Different sheikhs all mm -hmm. over the world, very respected, very well known. And they all basically advised us to be very careful. However, Islamically, um, we had... We the had right every right to... To go get married. Go get married. Without my father's permission. Because of the reasoning behind him mm -hmm. denying me. So, pretty much we ended up, alhamdulillah, finding a very respected sheikh. We got married and we've been very happy ever since. We can't complain, alhamdulillah. So those are a few key points to our story. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're so happy to be a part of the Squad's Halal Loving Project. We're very grateful to Jadeen, Carter, and Sammy to reach out to us and give us the opportunity to be part of the project. Like. This is something that we known from the beginning of our relationship. This is what we wanted to do. This is what we wanted to do. We wanted to be a part of a change. We wanted mm -hmm. to be a walking example of what's right in Islam and some of the beautiful points about Islam. And we are very grateful that Dean Squad allowed us to borrow some of their platform to share our story and to allow us to be in the video. Beautiful concept, beautiful video. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.